It was just like any big city. The International Olympic Committee has awarded the 1996 Olympic Games to the city of Atlanta. Now there's no looking back. Four billion people, the most watched show ever in the world. No pressure. There's something happening all the time. You just can't duplicate it in real life. <laughs> what if it all goes wrong? Then I'll just have to say I was in jail the last four years. The greatest show on earth captures an Olympic city in the making. Tomorrow at 10 on BBC One. A look at the highs and lows on the weather front now on BBC One with Michael Fish. Good evening to you. Perhaps I should start with a rendition of we're having a heat wave, a tropical heat wave, because that's the way it's going to be, I think, in the next few days, as that high pressure pulls away eastwards and eventually the winds come around from the south or the southeast, so introducing ever increasing temperatures. Tonight, for the rest of the night, a little bit sort of uh, on the misty side and some low clouds spilling into that eastern coast across parts of southeast England, holding the temperatures up in those areas. Another chilly night inland, not as chilly perhaps as last night, where it dropped to two degrees in central Scotland before climbing up another 20 odd degrees during the day. But even so, as I said, a chilly start, a rather grey start for these uh, eastern parts, not lasting more than an hour or two, simply a dry day, unbroken sunshine virtually everywhere. Far north of Scotland, a little bit more cloud around, especially in the Northern Isles, where it might, to begin with at least, produce just a spot or two of drizzle. A little bit warmer, if anything, than today. The temperature as high as 25 degrees in one or two spots. Again, around the coast, though, uh, sea breeze is holding the temperatures down somewhat, but that uh, easterly wind, not as strong as it has been. Again, it's a case of take care in the sun, though. 30 minutes or so is all you need before you uh, burn, and if you're a hay fever sufferer, best place to be around the coast, where the pollen counts will be at their lowest. In the next few days, nothing changes, it stays dry and sunny, and if anything, gets hotter. The game in the next 30 seconds is to guess which one of these houses have people at home, and which ones don't. House number one, in or out? House number two, what do you think? And what about number three? Made up your mind yet? In fact, they're all empty. But if you were a burglar, which one would you think was your safest bet? If you want to keep them out, make them think you're in. Crime. Together, we'll crack it. That was a public information film. And that brings Wednesday evening to a close here on BBC One. If you're a night owl, then don't forget BBC Radio is there to keep you company. That's Radios 1 and 2, Radio 3, BBC World Service on Radio 4, and of course Radio 5 Live. But from all of us here on BBC One, a very good night. Good night.